Lindsay, thanks. Well, today, Spring City Council gave tentative approval to the use of housing revenue bonds to build a new affordable apartment complex on the northeast side of the city. That complex would be geared toward dual income families. News 5's Devin Karp spoke with the city and a nonprofit to see just how much is going to help people in our city. Our community needs housing desperately for everybody. For the last 17 years as a social worker in the Springs, Beth Rolstad has worked to find affordable housing for many different types of people. For the minimum wage worker, for the college graduate, for the retiree, and for the professional who goes to work at one of our aerospace companies. And it's a challenge that's not going away. The average rents here in the city are increasing six, seven, eight percent year over year. Nonprofits in the city alike are working to build more affordable housing. And city council just supported giving $40 million in bond money to a new affordable apartment complex right off of Powers and Union. It's going to bring approximately 230 uh, brand new affordable apartments uh, into the northeast part of Colorado Springs. Uh, those will be one, two, and three bedroom apartments. Those apartments would rent for around $1,100, $1,300, and $1,500, respectively. The city tells me that they're meant to help dual income families on the north side. I think it's necessary that we have um, this added to our portfolio of housing options, but I still think it's a stretch. Housing and urban development defines affordable housing as rent that is 30% or less of your monthly income. And to qualify for those apartments, you need to make 60% or less than the average median income in the Springs, $71,957. Doing that math, that's around $43,000 a year or less, around $3,600 per month. And buying a two or three bedroom unit becomes more than 30% of that monthly income. And I'm concerned while yet this fills a gap in our housing portfolio for our community, it still may be a little bit more expensive than some households um, can bear. Rolstad thinks more public transportation and lower inflation levels could help our area for now, but this problem is long term. There are many households, there are many individuals who are cost burdened, who are barely making it in our community.